All right, Timmy Zell, what is he up to this morning? You know, you made a New Year's resolution to shape up, but what about your closet? Yeah, and Tim is joining us with some ways for your closet to shed maybe a few pounds. I'm guessing the treadmill is not the answer for your closet, though, Tim. <laughs> well, it could be. If you've got a what? treadmill in your closet, you may need to get rid of that. Yeah, that's true. You hang your clothes on little, it. Yeah. I'm taking up some space. But we are talking about your closet trimming down. Pat Cummins joining me right now, and we're talking about closets by design. And may, many people look at their closet and may see just a hot mess. Absolutely. And now's the time really to address that. You know, closet fitness, it's, uh, closets by design, we're all about closet fitness. We know that 84% of people in the U.S. are unhappy, of adults are unhappy with how their homes are organized. The closet is central to that. We have some tips on, on getting organized, on thinning that out. Um, one great thing you can do is go to your closet, find items that you haven't worn in over a year, and pull them out, put them in a box, put them in the garage. We know we get people get attached to their garments, right? That old shirt or that lovely dress you don't want to get rid of, but put it in the garage, give it a couple of months, whatever you don't go back for, give it to Goodwill. It's a great, great tip. Um, editing is so important. Um, a lot of our customers will bring a new item into the closet and take an old item out. And, and so keeping- One in, one on, out. One in, one out. It's a great, great way to, to manage it. Um, at Closets by Design, what we specialize in is using space efficiently. Um, inefficiently used space is one of the biggest problems with clutter. And so our systems are designed to be flexible, adjustable. We have rods and shelves that can go up and down with the system holes. We have a beautiful array of different finishes and lots of accessories as well, like a tie rack that can attach to the unit and slide in and out. We have belt racks, which I think we have a picture of the belt rack and the scarf rack um, as well. We got well. a before and after picture too. Oh, let's, yeah. let's, show, let's talk about, okay, here's, here's somebody's closet that looks more similar to mine. That's great. Right. Now, let's check out. Yep. Look at that, it's different. Clutter gone. Big different. Clutter Cl gone closet organization. Yeah. And you can find things. Yeah, and you can even do it in the drawer. So here's a great example of, um, of a jewelry, a velvet jewelry um, tray that goes inside of a drawer. And you can get your jewels um, and all your necklaces and rings and things organized in there. So there's a lot of great ways to utilize that space as much as, you know, as, it's as important as, as making sure we don't continue to just accumulate and be pack rats. There you go. So. There it is. We're, we're slimming down the closet, trimming it down, getting it organized, getting fit for 2020. We'll be telling you how to do that all morning long with Closets by Design right here on Fox 2 News in the morning. I'll tell you that before picture, your closet does not have that many dresses. I mean, you have quite a few, but not that many. <laughs> yeah, that, that's my wife's closet. Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. Thank right. you for clarifying. <laughs> that explains